The following video was made for entertainment purposes. This video is not meant to represent the real individuals involved in this video. All voices have been AI generated. Please enjoy. What it is, everyone, it is me, Barack Obama, here with Bidenator and Donnie to play a game a couple imposters may have already played. But we're playing it anyways because we're cooler. Am I right, guys? Totally agree, Joe. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, the classic founding father of indie horror games. Once again, we know many have already played this one, but we wanted to give this a shot ourselves and see what happens. Another reason being that Obama and Biden don't know Five Nights at Freddy's that well. So they're getting a new experience out of this, which will be interesting. Well, without further introduction, I think it's appropriate to get started right now. What do you say, gentlemen? Yes, let's get into it. It's about time we dip our toes into this rabbit hole. Family pizzeria looking for security guard to work the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Did I just see that correctly? What is it, Barry? This night shift is worth only $120 a week. That's not even enough to afford a gaming console, let alone a space to live in. That's not even enough to survive in the economy we're living. What kind of job is this? I'm not even going to make the joke because likely everyone knows what I was going to say. How the heck do I pick up the phone? Something about the ringtone of the phone sound like one I had back in my days in the back office. Hello, yes, this is former 44th president of the U.S. Barack Obama. Why does this place actually look so unnerving for a family-friendly pizzeria? Do you think we got scammed? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, considering we're getting paid basically no survivable money at all. Also, what are those nightmare fueling things? Are they the things we're supposed to be watching? Judging from the names of the camera footage, maybe we're actually in showbiz right now. Showbiz? What the heck is that? It's an old pizza place that had animatronics as the main attractions to entertain the kids. Joe Biden might be drawing the similarities between the two because here you're actually watching over this pizzeria's animatronics for the night. Wait, it's these robots I'm looking out for. Can't they just fend for themselves? Who would unironically come here to steal or tamper with these things? Actually, you'd be quite surprised, Obama. Many do so, especially if there's a heated competition between one pizzeria and another. Wait, did something like that actually happen? This phone guy says that as one of my cameras is disabled for some reason. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. If my children ever heard of this restaurant, I'd highly doubt these animatronics would ever hold a special place in my children's hearts. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. About their Wait, did he just say something about a free roaming mode at night? A free roaming mode for the nighttime? That doesn't sound right. I don't remember Showbiz having their animatronics doing that. Okay. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if it, Yes, please tell me the risks of being paid 120 a week. They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. What? Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad. If the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices. Wait, was I actually set up for a death trap? Area. The only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. This is a horrible job. You'd think something of detail as that would be one of the first few paragraphs you'd see? Instead, they just hide that information from you. So glad Showbiz never did something like that. Otherwise, I would have heard complaints on the newspapers till they get shut down because of it. Honestly, I'm not surprised a pizzeria like this would hide that information. Wait, I just realized, is this place abandoned or something? What makes you say that, Obama? Well, just from this camera alone, I can see spider webs that look like they've been there for quite some time, meaning whoever are the cleaning crew, they either have been slacking off or are absent from this place. Secondly, several lights look like they're about to burn out, either because they're flickering or just that dim. And thirdly, why is my office such a disgusting mess? What I want to know is how a job application for being a security guard in the night shift for this place even passed the green light and made it on the newspapers. You'd also be surprised how easy it was for something that small to slip by like that. Either I'm crazy or he wasn't there before. Oh shoot, so they actually do move? There's no way around it. I had to have been set up. Why would they want me to be a night shift guard for a place with animatronics and not acknowledge what I should do if a burglar showed up? 
I already hate this job. Did the phone say something about closing your doors for a prolonged period? Obama, look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Wait, what? And this place runs on limited power? Who's the individual that did the infrastructure of this place? Who's responsible for this? Who can I sue? Because I'm suing millions for this death trap. Obama, why aren't you unlocking the doors if your power is being drained by that much? Because he's right there. What am I supposed to do about that? I suggest unlocking the other door then. Okay, fine. As long as the others don't move then, sure. God dang. When the heck does this one move away? How fat is he to be seated at my door for this long? There's a part of me that wonders if it's because our cameras are darted at him, so he's refusing to move till they're not anymore. Then how long should I not look at him then? I don't know. We're talking about animatronics moving in the night. How should I know? Gosh, at this point, I'm going to run out of power. It's been an entire hour and he's still here. Some part of me wants to say you should try unlocking the door for a moment and see what happens. But I'm assuming that spells death for you. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that door being open. Wait, what happened to my cameras? Who and what is that? Even show business animatronics weren't this bad back in the days. This is just straight up corrupted people behind this pizzeria. Hilarious, you say that about the establishment. Why is that funny? If you knew the lore of this game, you'd know why. To add insult to injury, now the chicken is moving. Are you sure that's not a duck or something? Well, now that the blue one's finally done seating at my door, I can open this now. But now you have basically no power left, and it's only 4 a.m., Barry. Don't worry, we'll totally make it through. We just have to believe in the power holding up. Where the heck is that thing? I can't find him again. Yo, why is he looking at me like that? Is that normal? I don't remember his head looking at me like that. Yeah, never mind. I think we're screwed. Okay, so what happens if the power actually does run out? Okay, I'm getting freaked out about this. Why is it this dark in the office? Once again, I must ask. Why does a security office run on a limited battery life? Oh, hell no, what's that? Why is there music playing? These animatronics have to be on kill mode or something. There's no way you're convincing me a normal built robot that entertains children can light his nightmare fueling head like that. Why is that thing staring down on us like that, though? I don't know, Joe, but I think we're going to die. Oh, yay, my favorite. Death. Okay, wait, why is it silent all of a sudden? Oh, oh my, my God, God, what the f***? Ouch, okay, my ears hurt after that scream and you swearing Obama. Alexa, remind me in 30 minutes to sue Bill Clinton. Okay, I'll create a reminder to go off in 30 minutes. Why Bill Clinton in particular? Come on, you know he had to have been responsible. All right, I think I have a new strategy here, guys. And what'll that be, Barry? I'm just gonna sit here for about two hours and let the power chill out. And let the animatronics roam free for that long? Trust me, this'll work. If it doesn't, I quit this job of being a security guard for 120 a week. What was that? What was what, Barack? Um, nothing. Must have been my imagination. Okay, it's been a bit now. Let's go check up on them and see how they're doing. I'm sorry, is that meant to happen? Wait, were those heads looking at us or something? Did you happen to fall asleep during that brief period, Sleepy Joe? No, I was just seeing constellations, that's all. Yeah, you totally weren't sleeping or anything, Joe. Wait, I actually wasn't? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, Joe. Okay, why are... Oh, okay, never mind, he started moving. I was about to say that I'm surprised no activity happened at all till 3 a.m. Remind me, when are we suing Bill Clinton again? After the end of the video, Joe, we'll remind you because we're gonna need a lot of firepower to sue someone like him. Wait a second, that's where he's been hiding. Can't believe the flickering light made him blend into the darkness so well. Took me forever to find him. I still couldn't even see him. I don't know how you have the eyesight for something like that. I wonder if any of the other animatronics do something like that. Just wait till Freddy wakes up and you'll see. I'm so glad I saved up as much power as I did because once again, this stupid rabbit is refusing to move away from here. This is why showbiz is better than this dump. They never had annoying little rabbits to freak the kids out. Joe, I don't think that's saying much considering that they still do have those creepy animatronics and stuff. Well, maybe if you both grew up with showbiz or the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, you at the time would have considered them a technological improvement. 
rather than a bunch of zombies that were after kids. Joe, I know for a fact there were at least a couple dozen people who had sleepless nights because of those things. Haven't you or your kids ever had nightmares of being alone with inanimate things like animatronics before? Oh, wait, that's what my kid was crying about that one time. Wow, you are something else, Joe, and I don't know if I should be laughing or feeling remorseful for you. Why Freddy looking like he about to plot something devious, though? You act like as if all of them don't. Okay, so on one hand, we have a chicken just chilling next to the men's restrooms for some reason, probably needing to take a dump or something. And we have this stupid rabbit who, again, refuses to leave me alone. Suddenly, I need to take a dump as well. TMI, Joe. Gross, dude. Oh, what in the world? How did you get over here already? Suddenly, all that power you saved up is getting chewed away. I'm starting to think all of that money this place made up had went all into this terrible battery life. It would at least explain why I'm being paid as little as 120 a week. I mean, just look at these busted animatronics. Look hard enough and you can see their robot skeleton inside of them. Wait, so how does this trace back to Bill Clinton if this place is basically running on a budget? Because it's Bill Clinton. He's responsible for literally everything. You think he would not make a pizzeria with creepy animatronics to bait security guards? Okay, now that you say that. Plus, Joe, don't you remember that one time he said his child was visiting your house only to find your entire restroom covered in piss and fists? Oh my goodness, now that you bring that up, I remember Hunter going monkey mode about it. Uh, didn't help that it was the same day he had mad Taco Bell. How did this conversation escalate to Hunter going monkey mode? What does that even look like? You really don't want to know, Barry. It was horrible. I'm sorry, am I allowed to ask why both of your doors are closed, bro? Well, at first, both were at my door at the same time, but guess not. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, geez, that shocked me a bit. Are you even going to have enough power to make it through the first night? Shut your traps, and maybe I will. I can't afford to lose here, not after a strong start. Oh, for the love of God. When even is the end of the night? Holy moly, we did it, gentlemen. Let's go, Obama. You finally beat the night. Thanks, Joe. Couldn't have done it without your company. Congrats, you finished the first night out of five. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that part. Guess I have to continue then. There's a part of me that kind of forgot I get phone calls every night. Why does it take so long to pick up the darn phone, bro? Well, if you're here, listen, you made the day, too. Uh, congrats. Thanks for nothing, phone guy. Real help, buddy. Yeah, thanks for not telling us important information like death and such. Oh yeah, so much for everyone being in their proper place. Now both the chicken and the rabbit are gone already. Geez, what a start to the second night, and yet we still have no insight into how we fend off a burglar and such. Tell me about it. So if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, be sure to check the doorbell. Because that's the only way you can Oh, wow, that's amazingly reassuring, dude. You give me something that sounds very important like the door lights, then immediately tell me there's no reason to use it because I won't be in any danger. Sure are doing a real good job hiding it, buddy. How much is Bill paying you? Anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Talk to you soon. He's certainly up to something no good. He knows we're working in a death trap, trying to tell us we're totally not in danger. If that was the case, why are we a security guard in the first place? Isn't that the job of a night shift guard to see if there's any opposing threat? Absolutely, Joe. You said it. He and whoever is behind this establishment are up to something devious, and we know it. Something about the minds of the uninformed when it comes to situations like these that always entertain me. What do you mean by that, Donnie? Let's just say that I'm not saying you're right, but I'm also not saying you're wrong either. It just occurred to me. What is it, Barry? What in the actual world is this ambiance? For a place that's supposed to be empty and devoid of everything but these robots, it almost sounds like ghost drone noises or something. To me, it kind of sounds like something I'd hear in some sort of occupied cave with monsters and demons. When I used to work the night shift at Showbiz, all I heard was just the desk fan for quite a while and that was it. Wait, if that's the case, what are the chances this place is actually haunted or something? The more that I think about it, the animatronics being possessed by ghosts or evil spirits sounds way more likely than just them having some sort of nighttime mode. If Freddy himself is on nighttime mode, why is it that he has a built-in music box that lights up his inner parts of his skull? Not to mention the weird noises we just heard coming from the kitchen and stuff. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yo, I wasn't uh, imagining uh, what is things. That, Donald? What on God's green planet was that? Donald, what was that? What just happened? That was just a hallucination. You guys are fine. Wait, hold on a second here. Why did that happen at all? What was that even about, Donald? I really hate how you're being extremely quiet about this situation. Okay, I guess I'll explain one thing to make this make sense to you two. Obama, remember that one comment you said about the possibility that this place is haunted? Oh no, please don't tell me. Oh my god. This is the part where you say the place is haunted, Donald? This place is haunted, gentlemen. Great. So the place is haunted after all? But wait. How is this place haunted? What happened here? Back before this exact pizzeria, five young individuals were murdered by a co-owner of this place. This co-worker sometime after 1987, for reasons I won't mention yet, because it's irrelevant for now, decided to go on a killing spree, specifically targeting those in Fazbear Entertainment. However, instead of ending their life with normal stabbings, he instead would kill them, then soon stuff their dead bodies into animatronic suits. Oh my gosh, what? That's horrible. And this place is still running even after that absolute tragedy. Who would do such a thing? Why and how did Bill Clinton let such ugly actions happen? Wait a second. This just occurred to me. Donald, you said five. Who's the fifth? A ghost animatronic that has an extremely rare chance of appearing in this game. There are ghost animatronics now. Okay, that's it. Scratch the suing. I'm airstriking this whole mess. This place cannot stand on foot when it's been haunted for this long. Might as well burn this place to the ground. We can't allow children to come to this haunted facility. If only you were here to do that a long, long time ago. All right, so now that we know what we're up against, we now have the evidence we need to sue Bill and airstrike this whole joint. Oh my gosh, wait, why is he out of his little pirate cove? Okay, we're super screwed now. What am I supposed to do against that thing? Good luck, Obama. You're certainly going to need it here, dude. It really doesn't help that the duck and the beaver are already nearing the office. I'm sorry, what beaver? Oh gosh, not you, sir. This is bad. What are we going to do? We still have another 12% of our power. We can do this, Joe. But these hours take so long. When will it even at 6 a.m.? I don't know, Joe. But this is no time to be freaking out. We're almost there. But he's going to swear it. But Barry, you're freaking out, too. No, I'm not freaking out. You are, Joe. What the heck? Bro sounded like his soul was exiting and now is fine. Did your soul just get taken or something, Barry? No, I'm totally fine, Donald. I swear it. Somehow this is less reassuring. Suddenly even I'm creeped out by this. Whoa, what was that knocking just now? It means your butt was saved by that door. Good for you, Obama. But we're only at 3% power. We're not going to make it, guys. Yes, we will, Joe. We just need to hold out a little longer. There's still time left. How much time left, though, is the real question. You're basically floating around with no power left. Shut up, Donnie. Come on, power. We are literally almost done with the night. Oh, great. We're screwed. I don't want to go through this again. Jill, where are you? No way did you just call for Jill, bro. Oh, please, please. I don't want to go through this again. Where are Joe, you, Jill? calm down. I swear to... See, I told you we'd make it. Holy cow. Nice Obama. Wow, I cannot lie. That was incredible, Obama. Close call victory there. Thanks, guys. Should we end the episode here? feel we've been going on for a bit now. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I think this is a good place to stop right here. Yeah, I love that idea. My heart can't take this anymore. All right, well, that'll end this video for today, y'all. This was one crazy one, especially for Joe, so we hope you enjoyed this one, everyone. If you truly enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us and Jared Gaming produce more of these kinds of videos. Just don't expect them at a frequent pace. All of us are busy one way or another, but we're very thankful for the recent support you've given us lately. We'll be sure to play or do more things in the future. As always, take care, everyone. And God, God bless, bless you all. You all.